we are gathered for uh, something, an event which was planned. I think this was very good because the organizers had said that it's not going to be just one event on one day in the year. There is to be a series of events and series of debates, actually, to bring these issues uh, forward, discussing uh, homosexuality and family, homosexuality and religion, and other topics was part of uh, this process of raising uh, the attention to uh, our uh, fundamental uh, human uh, rights. And I think this was a good thing. So this was planned, and this was not, fortunately, today banned. Unfortunately, tomorrow, we will not be able to attend what we had uh, intended uh, to attend. This is the, uh, the Pride Parade. And this is uh, the second year, I must say, in a row that uh, for uh, so-called security uh, reasons, actually, the authority uh, took this decision of uh, banning uh, the parade. Now, it's clear that we were there together also in, in 2010. And obviously, it's true, there were uh, difficulties. There were incidents on, on that day. But since then, what have we done? Have we been moving in the right direction? Or have we not been moving in the right uh, direction? <coughs> obviously, if we are here uh, sitting today, and if tomorrow we cannot have the parade, it's certainly that we've been not moving enough <laughs> in the right uh, direction, and maybe. Uh, we need to, to, to look into this issue with, with all uh, seriousness. The first one issue is that I think uh, sometimes people talk about is the parade a ticket uh, to the uh, European Union? And you can say, well, probably this may not be the case because it's not one event which decides on the uh, future entrance into the European Union. On the other hand, it's clear that violence is never a ticket to the European Union. And this has to be extremely clear for everyone in that uh, respect. And when we hear uh, some uh, prominent figures, some even political parties who are having responsibilities uh, here in this country, using threats and violence against uh, other groups, against uh, minorities, this is certainly not a welcome sign. And I think this is something we need to draw the attention to the authorities to this uh, situation which is properly unacceptable for us. And this has to be very clear from, from all sides on this, um, on, this, on this issue. So I think that, that's the first point. The second point, and I think Commissioner Fuller yesterday was uh, very clear on this uh, issue, we want to see that the freedoms are respected. And when the freedoms are endangered, there has to be clearly uh, a reaction from the authorities. And we do expect an appropriate reaction of the authorities against those who are stimulating violence and we expect not only the authority in the government, but also the judiciary authorities, I think, to clear clear stands on this uh, on these issues. I'm sometimes surprised when I see some uh, judicial uh, decisions. Some are going in one good direction, which are condemning those who are uh, promoting uh, violence and threats, but sometimes those decisions are overturned. And this might be also a, a difficult uh, issue that needs to be uh, looked at carefully. But I think it's, we're not just here uh, of course, we are here to complain that the parade was banned. That's, uh, that's, that, that's obvious. But I think we have to look uh, forward as well in this uh, overall uh, context. And there are some worrying uh, figures I think we cannot ignore. And we should not ignore it here in this room uh, either. You know, when the, when the decision was made to ban the parade, I think uh, some polls were conducted. And the majority of the population, more than 70% of the people, actually thought that this was a wise uh, decision. Maybe we don't agree with that <laughs> group, and maybe we have to reflect uh, why we don't agree on, the, on, on, on this issue. Another worrying uh, statistic that came out uh, those recent days, and which has not changed, I must say, from the last uh, two years, is that some people still believe that homosexuality is a disease. And this is a re the case for more than 60% of the uh, population here uh, in Serbia. And this calls, of course, for us, I think, to reflect on why are these figures there? Why is it uh, not moving uh, from this uh, situation for obvious reasons? So I think we need a pedagogical <laughs> action that needs to be deeply uh, undertaken with the authorities, with all, of course, uh, civil society uh, organizations to how make things uh, evolve and change in this, uh, in this respect. I was encouraged, I must say, uh, just a few months ago when we uh, had uh, this annual overview of the, of, the, of the rights of the LGBT populations uh, here in Serbia. They were pointing to a number of weaknesses in the legal framework because so we know the legal framework is generally 
more or less satisfactory. There can be some improvements uh, here and there, but it's often the weakness is, of course, on the side of the implementation. And this is an issue also that we, uh, we need to, uh, to look at and to draw the attention of the authorities uh, to. So I think those, for me, are the, the, the critical elements. How can we uh, move forward? How can we make sure that uh, within the families these issues are uh, discussed? I think it's very important that uh, this is uh, something that is felt by the younger generations as well. Uh, can they talk about it in school? I must say I raised this question with some persons here recently and they told me, well, in the family circle, maybe we can discuss that. In the school, I would not advise to my child if he was homosexual to actually raise this issue in the school. So I think this is the kind of topic that needs to be coming uh, to the discussion, that needs to be addressed by uh, all of us, civil society, by, by actors in that, um, in that field. So that's what I wanted to uh, reiterate uh, here today. We are, of course, seeing that with regret and deep regret that uh, this event is not going to take place uh, tomorrow. But I think from there, we should rebound and say, OK, let's see what can we do to make things evolve, and that next year, we're not in a similar situation as we are this year. Thank you.